Shockwaves from the state capitol tonight when the Senate voted to oust one of Governor Wall's cabinet members. Okay. Nancy Lepink has down. been doing the job okay. for nearly two years but hadn't been confirmed by the Senate yet. And without advance notice, Republican leaders decided to bring her confirmation up for a vote in the special session and voted along party lines to fire her from the post. They claimed she was too inflexible when it came to dealing with businesses she regulated. The Department of Labor and Industry has to have somebody that can connect to labor and connect to industry and work with them in what feels like cooperation, not a hammer that's about to come down every time they make a misstep. To have Nancy Lepping get caught in the middle of a petty political move puts Minnesotans at danger and it highlights the fact that I am so disappointed that Senate Republicans are not taking COVID seriously and they're not taking the safety of Minnesotans seriously. The last time a cabinet member was booted in Minnesota was 12 years ago when Senate Democrats voted to oust Carol Molnow from the job of Transportation Commissioner after the collapse of the 35W bridge.